closed captioning of this program is brought to you by Pioneer, energy for life. You know, it's amazing how things work out. We spotted classically the birds diving, the frigate birds circling, and then we've been watching birds diving down and feeding on mullet, very close to the mouth of a freshwater river that comes into the west coast of uh, the ocean here in Mexico. And what we did was switch from using rapalas that we were trolling with, and we started slowing down and we put a live mullet on, where we hooked the mullet on a single hook, just like this. It's uh, not quite a circle hook, but you can see that it's a short shank, very heavy hook. And we have these hooks on 50 pound fluorocarbon. We've got about a two foot section of the 50 pound fluorocarbon. And then we're using our trolling reels, but instead of having our lines tight, so when the fish hit, it sets the hook. You can see if I put just a little bit of pressure, the line can come off. So what'll happen, rooster fish or dolphin fish, which are also called dorado or mai mai, or mackerel, or even maybe a sailfish will come by and see that mullet swimming just below the surface. They'll hit it, we'll, we'll hear it, because the first thing you do is you hear the drag go, and you'll actually see the swirl on top. Then you pick up the rod and you put the spool on free spool. So I'll actually move the sleever down so that it's very easy for the fish to grab the mullet, turn it around, and then try to swallow it. And by that time, we gently set the hook. So when you're using just a single hook, in the head of the fish, it's important not to jerk too hard. That caught my attention. That might have been just the tension because it's loose. You want to just have a smooth torque on it because you don't want to rip the bait fish out of the fish's mouth if the hook isn't in somewhere along the outer edge of the jaw. And then, of course, you fight the fish. So this is a very simple way to fish. And oh, we got some. Look at this. This is awesome. OK, I'm going to get Barb here. We're going to see if this fish is going to grab it. Now, Barbara, I don't back. think this is a rooster fish. I don't think so. But I wanted you to fight the next fish, so we're going to see what it is here. If you lift your rod up, Barb. Yep. Looks like a little tuna. Oh, right. OK. Oh, you know what, Barb? It got caught in the mullet line. But I'm going to just uh, watch out, sweetie. I'm going to bring it in the boat. Barbara, it's a little bonita. You know what? This would be very good bait for billfish. Oh. It's just the right size. But we're going to be releasing it. So what yeah, I'm going to do is I'm going to put it back there, maybe over here. Because you've got it just hooked by the front hook, Yes. this is actually what some of the bigger fish are feeding on. It should fall off. Look at the colors, the greens. I know, it's beautiful. Yeah. There it goes. Oh, he's gone. Yeah, he's gone. Now, this is the rapala that I was talking about. You know, we'll use this to twitch for pike, uh, largemouth bass, smallmouth bass back home. This is the number 12. And just so you know, when it comes to rapala lures, whenever there's a number with the lure, for example, this is the x wrap XR, and it's 12. 12 designates the length in centimeters. So this is 12 centimeters long. And you can see that it's like a mackerel color. It's got a blue back with silver sides. The only thing is that because I brought these from back home, you can see it's got a sure set hook and two freshwater trebles. If they were saltwater hooks, they'd be a, a, a silver color, either stainless steel or cadmium. But you know what? I think they're pretty strong. That was a small tuna. Barb, it's those little tuna that the bigger fish, even the bigger rooster fish, like when you get 30, 40 pounds, would take a swipe at one of those. Or even some of the other fish, like the mackerel, definitely, and billfish. So when we fish offshore, if we go you know, out in the next few days, we might be fishing those, using those for bait to okay. get some of the bigger fish. OK, we're going to get this line tangle out, then we're going to get our lines back in the water. Good. 